care about you even? I thought you were going home. W what made you change your mind? Hey, 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 guys. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Psychedelic Kit, and we're back at Lost in Random and Fermenter. I thought I had to battle certain people over again, but I don't think I do. And if I do, I'll try to skip it. But Realized what? we're talking through all this again. Okay, we're done with that. Oh, never mind, there's his eye. That was weird. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you. Now, all we have to do is survive Nanny and well, the I could Queen just and her minions. Dumbass. And we'll fix everything. There we go. Alright. We're past him. And I can't remember. I'm I'm supposed to find someone here. I, I don't know, uh, Dicey. But I know they're here somewhere. Okay, so I don't think we've seen that part, so moving on. Or I would remember this, so cool. I don't have to fight anyone else over again. You'll never break the spirit of the rebellion. Never. Who is that? Touch it. I did what I did for the rebellion. I regret none of it. Where are you, you disembodied voice? <laughs> Which rebellion? How about who are you? I am the Red Pawn, the leader of the famed rebellion of Fortown against the Queen and her vile no dice war. True, I was captured, but you cannot kill an idea. Borberg will be victorious. Villainy can never triumph. I try really hard not to talk when they're talking, but I'm so glad that I do not have to fight any of um, the people before again because, like, they're really hard, especially the ones with these giant rocks that was taking up their life. Like, bro. Okay, so, Four Town, I've been there. You were from the original Four Town? The original? What do you mean, the original? Tell me, what became of Four Town? Long story. Uh, the original city is gone. I'm sorry, it's now called Forberg. Yeah. It's, uh, it's fine. Four Town stands today. Definitely not destroyed. <laughs> Let's go with that one. It's sarcasm. Asomi. I knew it! Ha! The Queen can imprison our bodies, but she can never imprison our minds. Thank you, stranger. You've given me strength to go on, and on, and on, until freedom reigns. Huh, maybe that was the wrong You'll answer. You'll never break the spirit of the rebellion. Never. Do I do that again? No. Okay, that was weird. She was almost there. Almost there. So close. So close. What's it, boy? All this for a little super juice. Oh boy. Hey, didn't I see you in Two Town? Tell me how you got here. I don't know, because I can't see what they look like. Let's see what happened. I'll tell you what happened. I was minding my business, and then. Nanny Fortuna came, and I accidentally spilled some Zupa juice on her. That's it. Wow. But everybody loves Zupa juice. Right? And then she arrested me and brought me to the Queen. <laughs> and then I maybe spilled some juice on her. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, just a little. <laughs> And then I tried to clean it up and kind of maybe spilled some more juice on her black dice and down her dress. That was two lifetime sentences extra right there. Where were you storing all this juice? Mm, pockets, mostly. Cheeks, too. Built into hidden reservoirs in the top, too. <laughs> Something I wrung out of my hair. Oh, Jesus. I'm a juicy boy. <laughs> I'm not going to apologize for that. Anyway, that's my story. 
Remember me? My only regret is that I ceaselessly spilled so much super juice on authoritarian state figures. Wow. Okay. Hey, stairs. Where did these go to? It was so close. She just had to keep looking. Some part of even knew her narrator was close. It was a feeling that went beyond words. I just realized our narrator is back, and I'm not sure when that happened. Or how long he's been there. Or how he even got free. <laughs> So that's who I'm looking for as a narrator? Oh, well, that's not good. The queen, in her wisdom, was right to put me in here. <laughs> sure she was. Okay, I'm going in circles. What's over here? As day oh, here's another one. into months, and then into years. No one could say what would happen now. This isn't what happens next, you know. Are you in there? <laughs> and you know what happens next? I ought to, shouldn't I? I am the Queen's narrator, after all. Show some respect, child. The Queen imprisoned her own narrator? The Queen desires control. More than that, she desires not to be controlled. Makes sense. She reached a point where she thought I was controlling her. Isn't that what narrators do? It would seem you're even more foolish than you look. Ouch! We're narrators, child, not dictators. Ours is only to describe what happens. Stories take us places, all of us, even narrators. And my place, it would seem, is in prison, <laughs> where I can narrate only myself. Tell me all about the Queen. I could narrate volumes to you, child. But, like I said, that is not what happens next. Suffice it to say that when she was younger, the Queen, then just a princess, she was happy. We were happy. There was such promise in her. A spark, ineffable. Uh, what happened next? Tragedy. Something unexpected. She tried to stop it, but... It is a tale long forgotten. And best left that way. Oh, please don't leave me hanging. Uh, you don't seem like a very nice narrator. <laughs> a narrator, we grow to reflect our subjects. I presume I was a nice narrator once, and she was a beautiful princess, inside and out. And then, well, you can narrate the rest of it yourself. As Rude. days bled into months, and then into years, no one could say what would happen now. Hail, kind soul, and well met. I'm a lost traveler from a distant land. Okay. Oh, Cedric would know just what to say right now. One thing was certain. <clears throat> the story had taken a very dark turn. Well, he wasn't very helpful. You can imprison my body, but not my spirit. <laughs> Okay, so this way, maybe? This was not what was supposed to happen. What's up here? Did I come from? I'm so freaking lost. I saved, so is that a good thing? <laughs> and her narrator were almost reunited. She was so close. She was so dramatically close. Who's this guy? Hello, Even. Oh, boy. Do you remember me? For I remember you. 
Shadow Man, you leave me alone. Nope, I don't waste memory on useless shadows. Now, now, even. We both know that's not true. Uh, You're yeah. probably wondering why I'm here and not out there picking my teeth with the bones of the disobedience. Not really. I suppose it makes no difference to tell you. The Queen hired me all those years ago to kill that meddlesome king of freedom and to start their war. Oh, well, that's fucked up. And why would you want them to end the war, then, when that means ending you? Why'd you do that, you monster? I'd like to know. Oh, I was paid, but I would have done it for free. The Queen wanted to ensure his children would tear each other apart in the years and decades to come. And they did. I gave the Queen her endless war. I did brilliant work. Oh, but she played even me, you see. She promised me the people would fear the Shadow Man beyond reason. But they didn't. My rule was kept secret. And instead, they grew to fear war, their own deaths. When I finally had enough, when I finally threatened to reveal the truth to everyone, well, here I am. Okay, I'm good, good. You'll fade away in here, Shadow Man. I pity you, you know, you never amounted to anything and you never will. That's rude. I'm, well, I guess he kind of deserves it, but, uh, let's do the first one. Oh, I don't think I will. Don't you know that a good story never dies, little one? And every story needs a villain. I'll be out of here one day to live nastily ever after. <laughs> Love how you put it that way. Okay. Oh! Shao Man's touch. The Shao Man poisons Even's weapons. Each hit poisons a smitten adversary. This spell lasts for 30 seconds. Okay. Took me a minute to register what I was reading. Alright. Well, now the Shadow Man's in here. How the flying fidgets do we get down there? Oh. How long has that been there? <laughs> ah, there you are, my friend. Thank you for the rescue. Now, I can get back to my job of narrating. <clears throat> the narrator said, narratively. Who are you? I mean, weird. Yeah, it's uh, you. There you are. <laughs> Finally found ours. Whoa, 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 wait. You can hear me? Yeah, this is new, and yet it isn't. This is unprecedented. But that doesn't mean it's bad. Took the words right out of my mouth, little one. It was hard being alone. I felt like half a person, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, I felt your absence. Well, it would be strange if you didn't. I am your narrator, after all. Oh, but it is nice to know when one's work is appreciated. But you can hear me now. We should make the most of that while we can. One never knows how long it will be until the old authorities reassert themselves. We've got a quest to finish, my friend. And I stand ready to describe it if you stand ready to live it. So there's two narrators in here. Can you tell me and Dicey what happened next? Well, I'm afraid I can't even. I'm a storyteller, not an oracle. <laughs> you and Dicey live your life. I describe it during moments chosen for dramatic effect. And together, we will make the best story we can, yeah? But what about free will? 
What about it? Is there such a thing as free will? Are our decisions just the random firings of neurons in our brains? Do we even have time for such a philosophical discussion right now? <laughs> All Good I can point. answer is that last question. No, we don't. We have a quest to finish. Now then, where were we? <clears throat> ah, yes. A girl, her dice, and her narrator were reunited at last. Behind them, the wreckage of all that had stood in their way. Ahead of them, the queen and her minions. Even squared her shoulders and strode forward toward her destiny. <laughs> oh, why, thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, find the palace. <laughs> How the hell am I going to find the palace in this mess? Okay, so if he was up here, maybe just go up. You have to get me out of here. Who oh, has to unicorn? A real live unicorn. I'm a real live unicorn. Oh, well, that was easy. In the palace courtyard. Up. This used to be a beautiful palace, a place of learning, of magic, of... Oh, yes, Dicey. It was also a place of dice. <laughs> okay, so... Onward. Halls that once echoed with the laughter of children were now still empty and restless. Oh, right. Except for even and her amazing friend Dyson, who was uh, great, did you say? <laughs> <laughs> who was, and I quote, great and awesome to the max. Yes, we are. I guess we're going in the right direction then. Oh God! Your house of cards will never fall it's down way. when you've built it. Oh, this looks like the only way. There might be a battle. I feel it. Oop. Okay. At least nothing's uh, restoring their life force. <laughs> neener, neener, neener. Okay. I can't use any of this, though. It's a bunch of bull honky. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. I need this guy. Dancing. Okay. What do we got? Well, we might as well that. Get this guy. literally came out of nowhere. Whoa. 
Listen, sir. Oh, I can't use that. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, well, that's cool. <laughs> that was so close. Bullshit! Who? <laughs> Can I please use that? Thank you. So kind of you to give me my arrows back. Fuck. Alright, my arrows. I'm so angry! He must be the last one. I'm stuck. Like usual. That's usually how I get killed. Crystals had appeared in the same age as the castle's fall. They were not the cause of this destruction, merely okay. an effect of it. Now we're up. Much darker here. Way to creep us out, Mr. Narrator. <laughs> Get on the freaking pipe, lady. Oh my god. There we go. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this way. Only one way. Gotcha. The remains of the castle were quiet, almost serene. Ghosty! But within them still dwelled a great power. Here goes nothing, Dicey. Oh boy. Well, we're locked in. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> Look at this place. It is stunning. And it's been lived in recently. We're not alone here, Dicey. Alright, I'm gonna end the video here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>